Panama City. The world famous Panama Canal, a fantastic national park in the middle of town. Well that's it, a successful trip. And more, come with us. We've come out to Miraflora's Lock to see the canal. This is the main tourist section of the canal. There are Flory's locks are the original ones and way in the distance you can see the new locks that they just built recently which take bigger ships. And that's it. The boat is now gone through the locks and is on its way to the Pacific. We're in beautiful Parque Natural Metropolitano in the middle of Panama City. This 232 hectares of tropical dry forest is part of an important biodiversity corridor connecting to larger Soberania National Park. It attracts heaps of wonderful wildlife. We have just stopped at this little lake. And here we've come across some turtles. A poor baby mantled howler monkey has just fallen off a tree and landed right in front of us. Luckily unhurt, he's climbing back up the tree as fast as he can. There he goes. His parent is really concerned about him. I'm not surprised. Jeffrey's tamarins travel in small groups. A part of this group's lagging behind. This tamarin's calling to them and waiting to check that they're okay. Jeffrey's tamarins are only found in Panama and North Colombia. Crikey, blow me down with a dish mop. I've just seen a Jeffrey's tamarin. Bloody amazing. Yeah. Witnesses to this great experience, what did you think, Miss Robinson? I thought it was wonderful. The little tamarins were totally charming and very cooperative. So we're walking higher up now into the uh, park and we've seen a lot of lovely butterflies. Unfortunately we can't film them for you because they keep flying away. So we're at the second highest point in Panama City now at 150 metres. The only point higher is that hill opposite and that is Ancon Hill, 200 metres high. brown-throated, three-toed sloth is eating the leaves of the Sucrophia tree, its favourite food. The sloths sleep for 15 to 18 hours a day, but they can move through the trees quite quickly when they need to. 
These sloths live practically full time in the trees, descending once a week or so to defecate. So here we are back at the park entrance. We've got on all those trails except the green one and the dark red one. We've been climbing up Ancon Hill and now we're taking a break because Ancon Hill is really, really steep. Tonight we're in an Italian restaurant with really lovely people serving us. We have bread, gratis. We have house wine, which is very nice. And we're about to have grilled octopus and fried squid and paella. Yum.